Good evening, it's Jean. I just wanted to come out here and show you how some of the pots are progressing. Uh, we've worked in the yard all week and all day today and just had our showers and uh, I may have enough energy to hold the iPad. If it shakes, please forgive me because I am worn out. But it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow, so I wanted to show you in case some of the blooms got messed up. The big pot of pansies is still looking great. And those are those wonderful petunias. And behind that you can see lots of lilies coming up and I've got to uh, cut all my daffodil leaves down when they dry up. And then there's the uh, ostrich ferns coming up. And there's that pot I showed you in another video. It's doing great. It's got the bacopa and the lobelia and the little uh, petunias. This pot is not doing as well, but it's, it's surviving. It's hard on these things with this heat. You can see that the uh, bacopa, I'm bacopa, I'm losing my mind. I, that's what happens when you're tired. The ducias are blooming nicely. Uh, everything here is covered with these little things that falls off oak trees. We have cleaned up a 39-gallon trash bag full of them so far, and they're hanging off of everything. In case you wonder what uh, is covering up all my plants. These coleus here are called Under the Sea. It's a series, it's probably, I don't know, eight or 10 different ones. They have little twisty leaves. Some of them look like little fish bones and they're just fantastic. I had them year before last and they did great. So I'm looking forward to them getting big. And this pot has the pentas and the verbena and the little petunias. And then this is that giant pot we bought at the farmer's market. And it is so beautiful. The woodland flock is still blooming also. There's another pot of the under the sea colias. I know it's hard to see the variation in the leaf shapes, but they're just wonderful. And this little pot survived the cold. The calibrachia and the only thing it really got hurt was the um, sweet potato vine. The dark and the green both did not like the cold. Bacopa's doing good and that little orange plant that I can't remember the name of is blooming again. Beautiful geranium. And this ruffle petunia we got at Lowe's yesterday. It was $8.98 which I thought was a good price. And in this pot is that lemon cypress. That's meant to be in a fairy garden but I decided to put it in that pot just to give it a little bit more interest. those beautiful blooms. I think it's Angelonia is one of those. I'm going to walk up here and show you where we did some plantings in a bed. All those sedums we planted last year, they're doing great. Over here you can see the lemony uh, elderberry, lots of hostas, and that variegated dutzia. By next year I hope it'll be really beautiful. And the gorgeous maple. I still have my Easter flag up. I haven't had time to even take it down. 
We've hardly had time to breathe for working out here trying to get things done. And it's been a hot one. It's been in the upper 80s. Not very spring-like. All these hookers on that back row behind the tree, those came from Walmart. They're called carnival hookers, and we got them on sale for $1.99 because they were a little bit stressed. But once I planted them, they perked right up. The astilbe will be blooming soon, and it has beautiful pink plumes. A lime green hookera, and that was that lime green corridalis. And another hookera, if you can see it under the tree. And back here, Japanese painted fern. Clematis coming up great on the trellis and on that obelisk. Over here's a bed we've been working on. It's right next to this big climbing hydrangea. We planted this little ruffled lime green hookra, a new hosta, planted a dahlia, and there's that beautiful hydrangea we planted I showed you last week. Back there is a big purple salvia, a red dahlia, and some red salvias. And back there is another hosta. The chunks off those are ones the deer took before we started taking precaution. And we are using that deer gone, or I mean liquid fence, which is to keep the deer and the rabbit away. So far it's working. And here's a, another clematis that we just planted. Smoke bush. The purple lace elderberry. The wheelbarrow's kind of looking pitiful. The cold between the cold and the deer. I may have to do some replanting on it. I wanted to show you this mobile. This is one of the things that our daughter and her boyfriend gave uh, John for his 75th birthday. It's solar and it lights up at night in different colors and it changes colors and it is absolutely gorgeous. It comes on as soon as it's dark and it stays until daylight so it's really powerful pitiful little wheelbarrow. And I want to show you the other mobile when I get over here. We did plant some zinnias right here just to add a little pop of color. And then there is another old kettle of uh, those beautiful petunias. And then here's the other mobile. The one was dragonfly, and this is the sun, moon, and stars. And like I said, at night, they're just absolutely gorgeous. And the clematis back there is really doing great, you can see. And the dutsias, as I said before, are just breathtaking. And our old frog. Well, that's all for this tour. I hope you have a wonderful evening and a great weekend. Till the next time.